so confident, you felt very sure of yourself, you was feeling snatched and sexy, go again on Thursday. Just keep chasing the feeling and I promise you the results are going to follow. I just left out of Target. I got a really, I got a really, really cute tote bag. It's in the trunk. I should have just loaded it up while I did the video to talk to y'all. Baby, the tote is toting, okay? When I'm at the cafe and the library and I'm running my errands, girl, and I got my black tote bag. It got a little texture to it. It is so pretty. It doesn't feel cheesy. It doesn't look cheap. And they had 20% off in Target. So it was $32 and not $40. And I had a $10 gift card that I had been sitting on for a minute because the gift card kind of didn't count because I forgot about it, but it was in my bag. Yeah, you know, girl math and when it comes to shopping. Okay. I had this little long teddy on, baby, and um then it got a little hot outside, but it's still chilly at the same time. It's a weird combo over here on the west side, but it's all right, baby, because the west side is the best side. What's up with it? What's going on? It's your girl Nelly here, and welcome back to Fit Life Lit Life. Fit Life Lit Life is a self-care brand focused on mental and physical fitness. Just me doing what I do in hopes to inspire you with motivating content, encouraging content, inspiring content to help you get out of your own way. Really delivering a new view, a new perspective for you to pick up and carry to help you stay consistent in whatever it is that you're trying to do or to help you get started with whatever it is that you're trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Like really getting out of your mind mentally and really getting up on your feet physically and taking one step at a time. Today's content, I will be sharing some quotes. These are quotes that I created. These are quotes from movies, quotes from music, quotes I have seen online, quotes I've heard from family, quotes I've heard from my uncles, um, quotes that I've heard from my grandmother or life teachings I've received from my grandmother that I turn into quotes along the way. I've carried them, I've applied them then, and I apply them now and they still work today okay so i was doing shorts a few years ago and i would always drop like anywhere from three to five quotes and i would just say the quote and then it would switch the picture each time and i was like dang i want to start just doing like quotes content like maybe sometimes i don't feel like being on camera i just want to like share quotes and, and to share my game my knowledge my life teaching the way that i word things and that can help somebody get through their week, get through their month, or even a quote they can carry for the rest of their year while they're showing up for themselves. Realistically, not perfectly, but imperfectly, but realistically in real life and real time in a real way. So I'm all about self-care, I'm all about quotes, and I'm all about believing that the smallest impact can make the biggest changes in your life. And the smallest impact start with something as simple as a quote. These may be quotes that you have kind of heard before, maybe quotes that you have maybe heard like along the lines because I remix things my way. I have a way with words, the way that I say things. And sometimes I understand that when you're hearing something from somebody one way, it could be somebody else that says the same thing. And also due to the season that you're in, in your life, you receive that information and that quote differently than you did three years ago, if that makes sense. So I'm just here to inspire, encourage, motivate, okay? Do what I do. I love quotes. Quotes like get me through. Quotes are so impactful. It's just something to carry. It's something to remember whenever you're going through something. Scripture is quote. Scriptures in the Bible are quote. Music are quotes. Every bar is a quote. That's all it is. The first, the second three or four bars are a quote. The five is five and six are a quote. Seven and eight are a quote. Like all of these are just mini quotes put together to create a story. And I'm, I'm just a quote girl. A quote for you to carry mentally and to apply physically to help you better yourself, elevate, and grow. Because when you know better, baby, you do better, okay? 2024, my word has been knowledge and I have been applying knowledge. I have been applying everything that I currently know and I'm researching new knowledge and I am inhaling new information that I am picking up along the way with an open mind and an open ear to inhale, receive that, or just learn the information, just to be quiet and learn new information. And I have been running with that 2024. I've been reading a lot more, just been moving in that and I love it. And it's the best thing that I have done this far when it came to that or a vision board. You know what I mean? Just picking a word is so impactful because the word knowledge goes deeper than just, oh, just read a book. No, it's deeper than that. It's applying what you know. It's thinking twice before you react to something. It's thinking twice before you do something. It's thinking twice before you go somewhere. It's really like giving you time to slow down because it's like, okay, a knowledge, if I know better, I do better. And I know better than to do this. Okay, it's looking ahead of yourself. Okay, if I do this right now, how is this going to affect me next month? How is this going to affect me in the next three months, six months, or within the next year? You know what I'm saying? So 
it's really just moving in that and doing that. So quote number one, I don't set goals, I just go. That's the end of the quote. So how did I come up with that quote? I remember many, many years ago, me and my play brothers, my god brother, we was on the phone, we was chopping it up, we were talking, we were laughing, as we normally do, you know, check in every couple of months. And um, I was just telling him like where I'm at, what I'm doing, what's going on. I'm like, I'm to the point, I'm done writing, I'm done talking, like I'm just going. You know, I said, people get into this mode of buying new journals and writing, not understanding that you have enough knowledge and information to go. You have enough information when taking notes in all these different journals. You can write about three or four books. You got about 18 business plans. It's just which one you finna put your foot to the ground and go get, you know what I'm saying? So he was laughing like, hey, real talk. like yeah because you don't set goals you know and I said yeah because I just go and we was laughing on the phone and he was like hey that's a bar that's a bar right there it's like yeah I don't set goals I just go and that's how I came up with the quote and I was like and I was like if the quote take off I'm gonna give you your credit and tell you you know you you kind of said the first part he was like no you can have that because you always got a mind play you be putting stuff together I'm like you too funny but that's how I came up with the quote I don't set goals I just go because it does get into a point of time where it's like and it's, it's nothing wrong with setting goals let me say that there's nothing wrong with setting goals having strict action to hit that one goal and then accomplishing that goal and moving on to the next right it's nothing wrong with that but I was speaking from a point of setting goals to where didn't you set this goal last Monday didn't you set this goal last month didn't you set this goal last year? Didn't you set the same goal three years ago? Why is he still around? Why is she still around? Why is she still your best friend with the things that she has done? Why are you still at this job that has snuffed you numerous of times? Why are you still not in the gym getting active? Why haven't you gained that 20 pounds you wanted? Why haven't you dropped that 20 pounds you wanted? I thought you was changing your look. You know what I'm saying? So it really just gets to a point where it's like, nah, we ain't setting goals. We just going. And that also comes from me as a woman that I don't need to wait till Monday to do something. If I go to bed Wednesday night, and I feel like, oh, this needs to change. This is too heavy. This is this. And it's valid. And it's in fact, and it's doable for me, no matter how irritating and uncomfortable it may be, because that's going to be that because it's something new, right? So it's going to be irritating and it's going to be uncomfortable, but it's doable. If I want to make change Wednesday night, guess what I'm doing Thursday morning? Applying action and making change. You know what I'm saying? I might have to do a little note taking if it's something that's brand, brand new. But if it's something that I have already done before and applied before, we already know what to do. We're going to hit the ground running and pick up where we left off. You know what I'm saying? Or we're going to start fresh and start over, but we're going to find consistency in that and we're going to be serious in that. So that is where that quote came from. I don't set goals. I just go. Here at Fit Life, Lit Life. Quote two. Move mean, think green because lazy feet don't eat. I'm going to say it one more time. Move mean, think green because lazy feet don't eat. Now, that quote came from me mixed with a little OG back in the day. So move mean, think green is, was my quote. I created that a few years ago and it means exactly what it means. You want to think about going to work, getting your money, getting your hustle, investing into yourself, working OT, picking up that second job, saving, just, you know, doing what you got to do to get your money, to pay your bills, to take care of your basic needs, right? And also thinking green, are you getting your proper veggie intake? You know what I mean? Are you eating your veggies? Do you have a vegetable with every meal? What are you eating for breakfast? Are you doing a little spinach with two boiled eggs? Like, what are you doing? Just being mindful of that. I'm not saying you don't have to uh, take away burgers and pizza. Hey, it's your body and your business, baby. That's another quote I had. Your body, your business, okay? But I'll talk about that in another one. But not saying that you cannot treat yourself and indulge with just being, like, mindful. Being mindful. Making sure that your healthiness outweighs the unhealthy things that you're doing so move me think green that was a quote that i created and then i put because lazy feet don't eat that ending part that's an old street hood term you probably heard your uncle say that you probably heard an og say that that's old real throwback i'm talking about probably before i was born you know what i'm saying and that's exactly how that go if you got lazy feet gang go eat so you want to make sure that you get up and get on it for yourself and by yourself that's another quote that i got get up and get on it for yourself by yourself in real life in real time in a real way but really move me think green because lazy feet don't eat that's just saying get up and get up out of your own way if you don't get up and go get it for yourself who else gonna do it for you don't be lazy move your feet take care of your business and everything else gonna come and also it's saying that health is wealth 
Wealth is health. You got to get your money and you got to take care of yourself. But if you're not healthy and taking care of this one body that God blessed you with, how you going to get up and go get your money? How you going to get to the wealth if you're not in good health? You know what I'm saying? So it all go hand in hand. I've been saying this for so long. Exercise this beautiful blessing on earth you have called time by investing it into you. We are all born with 24 hours in a day. Every day that we wake up, God blesses us with time and another day to start over, to go get what is for us, to go get what is meant for us, to go get what we are desired to get, what we are called to get, to walk in our purpose and really take his direction and move in that again. He gives us chance by chance every day that he wakes us up, right? So making sure that you are exercising that time, exercising the time that you have on earth is a blessing and you want to exercise it by doing depositing things into your life planting positive seeds moving in a positive manner it's not about moving perfect because we were born in a world of sin but it's about being mindful it's about using the time that god gave you using your youth using the skills that you have and really applying those because tomorrow not promised next week not promised next year is not promised you know what i'm saying so if you got the time to do something just do it but don't hate on nobody else because what they did with their 24 hours in a day when you had the same time to do it in two years just like they did. And they sacrificed, put blood, sweat, prayer, and tears into what they had going on. You could have did the same thing with yours. But you was around here scrolling, laughing, posting funny memes, going out Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday night doing the same old two-step with the same old faces. You know what I'm saying? Arguing with people that ain't really investing into you praying for you got your best interest at heart support can't even have a conversation with you so that y'all can move forward look i'm just saying you know what i'm saying exercise your time and do things that are feeding your brain feeding your soul do things that are feeding your knowledge because we are blessed with time on earth use the time to invest in you yes you're gonna let your hair down and you're gonna have a little fun i'm all about having fun during the elevation process okay but you want to make sure that you are inhaling good things even the things that you watch, what are you going to sleep on? You want to do things that are adding to you. Oh, excuse me. My eyes just start watering, but making sure that you are exercising your time on earth by doing good things, fun things that are investing into you and that are making you feel good and that are making your soul dance, surrounding yourself around people who are genuinely trying to build with you, who are genuinely in support of you. You know what I mean? Or, but really being a good person to yourself surrounding yourself with yourself with good energy good spirit and being out here being able to be a movement by yourself and understand that those around you are a bonus it's a blessed bonus but it's a bonus but just really be mindful with your time because we can't get this back once this thing is over baby it's over lights out because if, if it wasn't my granny would be here right now with me in the car okay so just understand that and just exercise the time that you have on earth just exercise it and move in it and in a positive light you know Every day not going to be perfect. We we're born and saying none of us are perfect, but it's just about being mindful and trying to really push better and exercise what we have available to us. The time, resources, books, knowledge, people, it just yourself. OK, so just really moving in that. So that's where that quote came from. And yeah, I created that. X amount of years ago, it was so long ago. So I'm only gonna be doing four quotes today because I have a lot to do and I have less than three hours to do what I need to do. So I'm gonna end you guys with this one last quote. Don't focus and chase the numbers. Instead, chase the feeling and understand that the results will follow. And what that quote was saying, it came from me like working out, just talking to different men and women. People would always ask me in my DMs, like Nelly, you be on it. You always consistent. You always showing up. It look like you be having a lot of fun. Like you inspire me to work out. Like I be sitting on the couch eating French fries, dipping in my ranch, watching you work out. Like go Nelly, I want to do that. I want to do that. And it's something in the back of their mind that really wants to do what I'm doing. And my same reply be, look, if you in the area, come meet me. Cause I'm always down to have people come meet me, feel out the vibes, see if things are cool. I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind helping people get started and find their rhythm and find their flow. And I'm all about people moving the one and only body that we got. Our body is our temple. We're not getting this thing back. And really just looking around to see how people move, especially older people. If you don't need a knee replacement and a hip replacement and you can prevent those things now, start moving, just being flexible. It's not about losing weight. 
It's about just really being fit, being flexible and letting the results follow. I would notice too, talking to people, a lot of people would always focus on numbers. Oh, the summertime coming. Okay, so you got 83 days till summer. Why wasn't you doing this in the winter fall season? Why isn't this your lifestyle? You know what I'm saying? They want to, oh, goal dates, uh, birthdays and vacation dates. And don't focus on the numbers, especially when it comes to the scale, baby, because that scale going to lie. Not every time, but most of the time, the scale going to lie, okay? How do you feel on your feet when you walk? How do you look in that t-shirt you got on now? Do you feel a little thicker in the thighs? How them cakes looking? Do it feel, look like it's sitting a little bit high? You know what I'm saying? You want to look at those things that you can look in the mirror, because the mirror not going to lie to you. You know what I'm saying? Front, back, side to side, baby, the mirror don't lie. So you can look in that mirror with your clothes off or your clothes on, whatever it is you're comfortable with. Me, I like to look in my birthday suit because I like to see everything, Okay? But really looking and chasing the feeling. Looking at how you feel. I feel lighter on my feet. When I'm running errands, baby, I'm not winded. I'm not huffing and puffing at the top of a 20, 30 flight of stairs. You are feeling more airy. You feel more flexible. You can touch your toes. Both palms planted to the ground now. You wasn't able to do that six months ago. You know what I'm saying? It's showing up and understanding that the results are going to follow. Just chase the feeling. If you are showing up to the gym and it make you feel good, do that tomorrow. Oh, you felt good after your workout on Tuesday? Show up again on Wednesday. How you feel Wednesday? Oh, uh, your thighs was hurting because it was leg day. Your hips was hurting, booty was hurting. That ain't nothing. That ain't nothing but a little pain. With a little pain come a little gain. You know what I'm saying? But how did you feel after that post-workout? How did you feel mentally? You felt good? You felt accomplished? You felt confident? You felt very sure of yourself? You was feeling snatched and sexy? Go again on Thursday. Just keep chasing the feeling, and I promise you the results are going to follow. Stop focusing on numbers. You trying to grow your Instagram. You trying to grow your business. You trying to grow your YouTube channel. Don't focus on numbers because your tribe going to be your tribe. And when they come, baby, they going to come big dog stomping for you, okay? What's up, Fit Life, Lit Life? We in here, the community. What's up? When we going for the monthly walks? Yeah, I got some plans coming up too, okay? So if you in Cali, you know what I'm saying? Tap in. I got some things going on that I want to bring back. I have my classes going last year. I'm pretty much going to bring that back, but I'm going to revamp it in a different way. And I'm excited about it. But yeah, don't focus on numbers. Don't be looking at subscribers and views. That don't, that ain't that. Okay. Don't focus on that. Focus on your deliverance. Focus on your purpose. Focus on your movement, whatever it is that you teaching. And whoever going to come, go come. But how does it make you feel when you are serving? Like me doing this video, I feel good because I know. So my battery died, my phone got hot, and I was like, what's going on? But I was saying, I feel good because I know that whatever it is that I'm talking about and that I'm sharing is to add to you, not take away from you. It is going to be set in reality and very human-like form. I love helping people, but I'm in the business of helping those who are trying to help themselves. I love providing quotes. I love providing information. I was raised with a lot of game around me, knowledge, knowledge that I've learned as a child that still apply today. You know what I mean? So I just like sharing and like to feel good. So this is the end of the video. I hope this was inspiring, motivating, and encouraging for you. I hope you picked a quote that you would like to carry feel free to screenshot these quotes and if you post them on instagram don't forget to tag me tag your girl okay if you're feeling the vibe don't forget to comment like share and subscribe okay feel free to share this video with your cousin your mama your auntie your brother your favorite cousin your favorite co-worker the neighbor your manager share it with anybody because just because it's not for you in this season right now doesn't mean it's not for them in the season that they are in and just because it's not for you right now in this season that right now doesn't mean it won't be for you later okay so don't never x nothing out don't ever look at something like what is this what is that no it could be for you just because it's not for you right now it could be for you later so i hope you guys enjoyed the quote enjoyed the content feel free to comment down below any quotes that you like any quotes you carried a quote that you like that i said that you will be adding to quotes that you like and to carry for the rest of your week the rest of the month or maybe the rest of your year okay and until the next one uh hello Oh, baby, now it is hot. In here. I'm telling you, it's hot out here, but it's kind of like cold at the same time. Okay, I need to go to the bank, go to the house, go get my book. I got less than three hours. I need to get a bite to eat because class is going to start. It's a lot going on, but I'm blessed about it, girl, because what we doing, we're exercising this beautiful blessing on earth we have called time, okay? And we are investing into 
ourselves with our time, investing into knowledge, sharing new knowledge, inspired by we, we got this. Come on, Nelly, we got this. Just a little reminder to myself. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all on the next one. Take care.